but so her and the blonde woman were talking to each other in a, in a way that we we couldn't hear but when she was talking to us the interesting difference between her and me was that she instantaneously had in her mind exactly what she wants to say mm. and she could say it and think it at exactly the same time simultaneously we humans don't do that there's an ever so slight difference in time between what we're thinking and when we say it and when we're thinking stuff in our heads i noticed even as a little boy when i was doing this with her my head would go through multiple different sentences like it would it would try and grammatically arrange itself before it would say something so it would be coherent um and sometimes i would try to mask when she was asking me how i was feeling or what i was thinking i would try to mask it because you know that's that's what you do with humans generally you don't you know um it's, it's just a survival thing but she knew exactly when we were not telling her 100 percent honesty as to how we were feeling what was she already knew she was asking us as an honesty test um and she would sternly correct us if we if we didn't uh if, if we weren't honest and I, I think at first she like thought it was kind of cute the way that my brain worked she thought it was quite humorous um but after a while she became not not unkindly but less tolerant of it it was like you can move beyond this now um and the the last that i can remember of kind of like the training that we had together um was when she finally sat down with me and had a proper conversation and i wish i could remember what she said ah, but she finally hmm. sat down with me. she had this huge long conversation um like, like i just wanted for, for ages um and that was instead of me seeing the stuff on the screen that day i got to be taken to the side just her and me and have a conversation um and then after that the abduction stopped and I, I was never taken um, by them again. 